This innovative scene begins with a brief conversation between Donald Draper's new secretary, Jane, and Kenneth Cosgrove, one of the lads at Sterling Cooper. Jane firstly inquires about Kenneth's title. What's your title here? Appearing taken aback and slightly offended, Kenneth repeats the final words of Jane's sentence so as to demonstrate his discontent at being asked it. Title? <laughs> he then replies by stating his name. This is a quote-unquote power play, often used by high-ranking individuals so as to appear above the need for a title. I'm Ken. Seemingly unsure of himself, Kenneth then states his surname. Cosgrove. And finally, when seemingly all else fails, his role. Accounts. Jane does not appear impressed, hence Kenneth's long pause between words, and quickly proceeds to answer his initial question. Yes, you're here in the book with Jimmy Barrett. Now here we observe a crucial part of the scene. Kenneth, slightly dismayed and possibly embarrassed at his previous feeble attempt to impress Jane, asks her out on what is colloquially known as a date. Kenneth even goes so far as to include the third party to the conversation, Jimothy Barrett, in his bid to ask Jane on this date. One should note the sly and clever tone used by Kenneth when he makes this request. Would you like to go see him sometime? Right before our main protagonist enters, we see a glimpse of Jane's reaction to the question, where it appears she remains unimpressed at Kenneth's attempts to woo her. It is perhaps fortunate for both parties that it is at this moment our main protagonist decides to enter the scene, greeting the two with a quick hey to acknowledge their presence. Hey! Frederick Rumson wastes no time in showing what he has graced the party's presence with by stating the word listen twice so as to emphasise the importance of paying attention, a fantastic strategy by Frederick to bring people to his attention. Listen to this. It is at this moment I must warn weak-hearted viewers to look away. It is perhaps the most beautiful, moving, captivating and emotional scenes in television history. For those of you still with us, let us listen to this masterpiece. I struggled to find a description for such a perfect piece of television. Indeed, tears are in my eyes as I write this. However, I must soldier on. The effortlessness at which Frederick pulls at his zipper reveals just how musically gifted he is. He draws in individuals who aren't even a part of the original scene. The other secretaries in the background are just utterly mesmerised by Frederick. We can see by reactions from both Jane and Kenneth that they are either incredibly good at hiding their amazement or merely too unintelligent to understand the brilliance of this recital. Either way, it can be said that this is an extremely disrespectful response to Frederick, who has taken the time out of his busy schedule to gift them with this beautiful rendition. The piece of music in question that Frederick so effortlessly recites is Ein Klein's Nash Musik, by Amadeus Mozart. After a brief moment of hesitation, Frederick clarifies what piece of music he was playing on his zipper by stating the name of the composer. It's Mozart! Both Jane and Kenneth, clearly in shock at the excellency and innovation of Frederick, are speechless and begin to dazedly wander back to the positions they were in before the scene began. Frederick, looking very pleased with himself, as he should, returns to his office with the knowledge that he may have saved Sterling Cooper from extinction, or at least kept them in business for a couple more seasons. And thus concludes Frederick Rumson's zipper scene, an essential part of the Mad Men arc, where Frederick demonstrates his ingenuity and power to the masses. Long live Frederick Rumson. May he live forever. <laughs>